guys i hope you guys doing well i'm here with a new video in which we are going to learn how to make button clickable in the cell i mean that only button is clickable in the cell not the whole cell for this we are using protocol so let's start the tutorial let's open the xcode project click on the simple view, single view application click on next just give the name demo table view proto call you can give whatever you want to give and uh, just be sure that language should be swift and click on next and it should ask that way you to save save any way where you want to save so our new project is created now click on the main storyboard so let's first design the application for designing the application we have to drag and drop the table view so table view just drag and drop table view from here and resize according to your requirement and now give some constraint to it uh, I guess you all know how to give constraints if you don't know uh, so this is a uh, top this is leading this is trailing and this is bottom so as I click on add four constraint the table view will resize according to the device sizes so first just create a prototype cell by clicking make it prototype cell 1 and as I click on cell this these are the properties of cell so just give the name whatever you want to give I'm just creating a simple cell just a little bit bigger now let's give some uh, properties to cell so just give some label now again give constraint to this label as well and one button Uh, the videos are not focused on design the videos are completely focused on functionality so you can design this cell according to your requir requirement for now this button I'm just giving click me fine now one more thing we have to connect the data source and delegate just drag and drop from data source by pressing control key and left mouse key and click De uh, give data source and delegate to this cell now open the class of this table view now create the outlet now create the outlet of the table view now uh, we have to create one more class for this table view cell we have to create one more class for this table view cell before doing that I'm just creating an extension to write the functions of this table view this is the right way to write the functions of table view or some other delegate methods to separate the class with the particular elements delegate methods so we have to write view controller table view data source comma table view delegate so this is the right way to write the delegate methods now it's showing error that we have to confirm the protocols so just simply write the non-optional methods these are two these two are the non-optional methods of table view number of rows in section cell for at index path so before proceeding let's let me copy the array which i already make for you in this I write it some name some names of so that uh, we can get some data so this is a sample data in which I already write it some name to save the time now a number of rows sample data dot count we have to return this count it will take integer value it will return integer value so simply return 
sample data dot count now just create a cell let cell equals to table view dot dq cell in this we have to write the string which we are give which we give to this string to the cell index path um, now move to the design section first I'll explain what is this so the cell which I written over here is the cell which we give this in identifier to the cell this is the cell which we written over there so let's move on that view controller so this is the cell which we ran and simply we say cell dot text label dot text is we are not we can do that but we are not uh, getting the default cell so we are created a dynamic cell so simply return cell this will show nothing to us the simply nothing to us because we didn't pass anything on this label as well as on this clickable cell so let's move on to the a uh, class so for that we have to create one more class now just click on this new file coca touch class but be sure that ui this is the subclass of ui table you sell so let the, the name whatever you want to give uh, new table you sell just click on next just create now we have this class of table view so just assign this class to the cell just select the cell open the identity inspector and give the name give this cell a class new table view cell so this class is assigned to this cell now we can write the properties or we can create a outlet of this label and button on that particular cell let's move to this cell class first we make this cell as this class type so this is new table view cell by doing this this cell is created of this type now just press command and move to this cell now we can create properties of cell in this class now open the cell class and by simply drag and drop we can create the property press control and drag and drop uh, table name now connect login control and drag and drop and click me we are creating action so select action the action is prepared still we still till yet we are not to use any protocol so let's see let's pass the data first cell dot label as we have to build because the table cell class is not uh, presented till we are not we didn't build so let's cell dot label name dot text equals to sample data index path dot row so let's run this program we get the data whatever we have uh, written in that sample dictionary sample data array and we get this but these buttons are not clickable till yet because we had didn't do anything with this button so for that we have to create some protocols 
in this table u cell class so for do that protocol is one of the uh, powerful functionality uh, which is uh, which we can use to call uh, methods which 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 we are written in uh, which we have declared in protocols so for that type protocol give the name whatever you want to give i'm just giving table view new table view new protocol and in this we only have to declare the functions we don't we can't write the body in the in this protocols so function on click cell you only have to write the declaration of the functions so this function will take one parameter that is index and it is of int type so for accessing this on click cell of protocol type we have to declare properties in cell so for that where cell delegate is should be of type table view new table view new and one more property where index of type index path this index will take the index path which we sent from previous view controller Hmm. Now there is no error. Yeah, so we can proceed further. For that, in this uh, click me uh, action of that button, we have to call cell delegate dot index cell delegate dot that function's name on click, and in this index we have to pass index path. Sorry, index dot row. My mistake. Index dot row. So this will take index of that particular row and pass this on this previous view controller. On this controller. Uh, let's let's make another extension for that custom protocol the name of that protocol is table view new table view new table view new table view so as we uh, make an extension it will show error that we didn't inherit the functions which we have written in this protocol so let's write the functions func Funk on click. It's not coming. I don't know why. I'm just copying and pasting over here. I don't know why it's okay. Fine. Table view new is the name. It's not the new table view cell. Yeah. table view new is the name as i write this it will showing that we are not confirming the protocol means we have not written the methods which we have defined in that protocols as i click on this it will automatically come with the method in this method 
we have to print index is clicked let's build this program the table is loaded and the names are coming as we as we want as i click on click me it's clicking but there is nothing printing on this console so because it's not coming because we hadn't provide delegate to it so cell dot cell delegate equals to self cell dot and the index which we made in that cell is index part only now let's build and run the program again So the table view is loaded I will increase the size of the console so that you can guys see what is happening over here as I click on Peter so it will show the index that index 2 is clicked as I click on angel it will show the index whatever is there we can also get the name here so for that writing print print sample data index is selected So as we click on any cell, the name is selected at which cell is selected or which name is selected. So I click on Tim, so the Tim is selected. I click on Angel, so Angel is selected. Peter is selected. So we can do whatever we want to do according to this. And in this tutorial, we basically learn two things that how we can use protocols and how we can uh, arrange our code by using extensions. So I, for this, that's reason I use two extension. This extension is used to manage all the default functions of table view, all the default delegates of table view. And this extension is written to manage all the custom delegates which I've written in the cell. So that's today. That's that's for today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any query, you can comment me in the comment box in the message or you can message me. Uh, please don't forget to like share and comment on my channel uh, i hope uh, you guys like my videos uh, thank you